Hi guys, this is gonna be animated book review of The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. So how many of us out there have goals? And what stands in the way between our goals and obtaining the success from those goals? Well, for me, the one thing that tends to stand in my own way is myself. But after reading this book, I have definitely discovered a tool that will help me achieve these goals that I'm looking to achieve in my own personal life. But first, let me clarify what exactly this five second rule thing is. Well, the five second rule as defined by Mel is a rule that basically states that the moment you have an instinct to act on a goal, count backwards, five, four, three, two, one. Then you must physically move before your brain can kill an instinct to act. So the question you might be asking is, why does this even work? Does this even work? And the answer is, yeah. The five second rule is known in psychology as a metacognition tool. And so what metacognition basically means, a metacognition tool, it basically means that we have a way to trick our brains into doing things that it normally wouldn't do. So the next is, why is it five seconds? Well, the reason why it's five seconds is because there's a five second window between when we have an instinct to act and our brain coming up with a excuses as to why we shouldn't and can't act. A perfect example of this, guys, is, is say you see a beautiful girl across the room and suddenly you get that instinct to go up and talk to her. But you wait five seconds, which stretches into 10 seconds and then 20 seconds and then 500 because all of a sudden that instinct to act is crowded out by excuses, by fear, by hesitation. So why does it have us counting backwards? Well, by counting backwards, we do two things. The first is counting backwards requires focus because counting backwards isn't something we're prone to do. At least I'm not prone to do every single day. The second thing counting backwards does is it wakes up our prefrontal cortex, which switches our minds off of the default and into decision-making mode. So why should you use this tool? Why should you even read this book? Well, because we all know of the things we could and should be doing, but don't do, like exercise, eating healthy, saving money, or just talking to that beautiful girl across the room. We think these things should be easy to do, but the problem is knowing what you need to do isn't enough to make you go do it. So instead of us thinking about acting, we can use this tool to simply act. Because reality is, if we're looking to be our happiest selves, if we're looking to take more control in our lives, we need to go after those dreams, those goals we have for ourselves. We need to stop overthinking and start working towards our visions.